Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. Today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video. I actually went on Instagram and asked you guys what are your weird favorite food combinations? And let me just say I was shook, okay? Some of you have issues. No joke, some of these really caught me off guard and like I don't think I can physically try some of these. But you, do you know what? I've chosen a few that I feel like I can eat and are quite bad in my opinion and um, some really popular ones as well and yeah guys I've got so many I obviously can't try all of them again if you guys like this video make sure to give it a like and then I can try and do another one Today's post notification shout out is going to go to Cital Pardesi. Thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Okay, let's try these. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I've taken a few notes of some that I saw a lot. Okay, so one of them was like grilled bread or like toasted bread with butter and then sugar on top. I've never tried this. It, it kind of reminds me of sugar roti. Like, doesn't sugar roti bring major, like, childhood memories, though? Um, but it's not the same. I've never tried it on bread. A lot. Some of you said baguette. Some of you said toast. I know my friend Mia, she does put that on her stories every now and then. And I always, you know, thought that was a bit weird. Sorry, Mia. <laughs> but but I, I was just like, I've never tried this before. Sugar on bread? Um, so, yeah, we'll, we're going to give this one a go first. I actually got a few. I've got, I had to, like, place an order on my because we all know which one I had to try you know there was a really popular one so that's still coming so we'll try the bread one first okay, I've toasted a piece of bread like nice and toasted I put a generous layer of butter and I love it when butter melts like butter on bread on a toast is so yum anyways I got my sugar here I'm just gonna sprinkle oh I'm gonna sprinkle this all over I'm not gonna lie it does look kind of good okay let's try this the sugar is on the toast. I'm using my old lens because I know I'm going to move about in this video. And if I move about a lot, it just focuses all the time. Anyways, let's try this. Oh my god. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that I've just discovered this. This is so good. The but the sugar's kind of like crystallized or I don't know like melted kind of but it's still hard on the butter because it's warm. I need to make my sister try this. That is so good. Mia, I will never judge you again. I'm so sorry. I literally just demolished that piece of bread. And I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm really hungry. <laughs> but that was like 10 out of 10. It's so simple. I've got like sugar all over my face. It's so simple, but like legit 10 out of 10. That was so yum, guys. I don't even know why I've never tried it until now. Like, it's so simple. My McDonald's order came through. And obviously, one that I got so much was McDonald's fries dipped in a McFlurry. Like, plain McFlurry. Okay, so. I've never tried. I don't think I've ever dipped my fries in a McFlurry, but I think I've dipped it in my milkshake, which is kind of the same thing. I think I've done it once before when I was little. I don't know why I have a memory of that. So we're gonna take a fry and we're gonna dip it into the McFlurry. <laughs> it don't seem right, but do you know what? I don't think this will taste bad. Okay, it's here. It's, it's all right. Actually, I don't know now. Like I'm, I'm, I'm still eating it. I mean, I wouldn't go out my way to go and do this. But now that I'm trying it, it's not bad. You know, I'm so weird. With the McDonald fries, I like them when they're like flimsy and floppy. I don't like it when they're stiff like this. So do you like your McDonald fries hard or do you like them soft and floppy like me? This isn't too bad. I'm still eating. I'm still eating. I'm going to make the others try. And guys, the McFlurry and the fries are gone, okay? They really liked it. Maybe my sister, my sister says she's going to start buying it now. Okay, so I think I'll rate that combination like a 7 out of 10. Like, it's good, but like, I'm not like, wow, that's amazing, right? But the toast and the sugar is something that I feel like I will go and make again. Okay, so the next thing was peanut butter in a burger. So I got a double cheeseburger. I'm going to put a peanut, bit of peanut butter. I mean, that's what I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
Oh, Jesus. Ooh, take the gherkins out, take the... I mean, sometimes I like the gherkins, sometimes I don't. It really depends on my, on my mood, you know. Okay, so I've opened up the cheeseburger. I'm opening my sun pack. Guys, let me know what your favorite peanut butter is, because I tried like all natural, like sugar-free so peanut butters, but to be honest, they all have the same calorie amount. And sun pack smooth is like my favorite. And nothing compares to it. So like, I don't mind going for the all organic ones or the natural ones or 100% peanut butter. I know this is not 100% peanut. It's 95% and I don't know what the else the rest is like oil or something But it comes to the same calorie amount to like the 100% the peanut butters So I'm just like I might as well just go for the sun pack one Anyways, I'm putting my <laughs> This doesn't look right. This don't look right. I'm putting a peanut butter on the burger Anyways, let's put that right back on Meh. I'm so over the double cheeseburger. I feel like I've eaten McDonald's so much that I'm over it now. But like, in two weeks time, you're gonna see me order it again. I don't know, like, do you know what? I never try to judge. Like, I, I love trying new things, even if it looks, sounds really weird, like, I try it. Like, I can try anything. This one didn't sound too appealing to me, and it's not, it's just meh. Like, I wouldn't, I'll give it like a four out of 10, like, for me personally, like. It's all right, but. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna give this burger to someone because I'm not gonna finish it. Oh my god, my cat's literally going into the McDonald's bag. This is what it's come to, people. Wow. Yeah, lovely Sky. Sky loves fries. Sky, do you want some McDonald's? Oh, is that yummy? She's like, okay, I've taken it, leave me. <laughs> okay, guys, the next one. This one seems so disgusting to me, but it, it came up a lot. It came up a lot, and that's milk in Coke, people. Milk in Coke. Okay, I've got my Coke here. Let me just take a sip. <laughs> got some milk. He needs some milk. That. It just tastes like coke. I'll put some more milk in there. Oh. It tastes like, it kind of tastes like coke that just lost its fizz. Uh, like zero out of ten people. Zero out of ten. I can't finish this. I'm gonna throw this in a bin. I'm gonna give it to someone or something. <laughs> okay guys, the next one I have is olives with popcorn. I only have toffee popcorn. I should have gotten salted ones. I'm not the biggest fan of salted popcorn to be honest, but do you know what? Let's give this a go. Do you know, even with when it comes to olives, it really depends on my mood. You see really depends with my mood we've got the beautiful combination there ah jesus i mean i can't say that's nasty because the pop the olive is so overwhelming that you can't even taste the popcorn but these olives are good mm, i don't know what what it is with olives like I'm like, man, but I'm still eating it, so I kind of like it, I guess. These are the Haokiriki olives with lemon and garlic from Tesco. Not a fan of the combo, but the olives are. Okay, next we have crisps in orange juice. Crisps dunked in orange juice. Some, I think someone said cheese and onion, but I don't have cheese and onion crisps, so I'm going for this steakhouse barbecue kettle chips. My husband loves these. The chip in the orange juice. No, 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 no. I mean, it's not uh, disgusting, but I'm not about it. I think it's mental. Like the milk and the Coke wasn't bad, but it's mental. Like I cannot stand the idea of them two together. And this is like the same for me right now. Guys, the only weird f food combination that I had that I can remember is dipping a lollipop in coke 
So I would like dip the lollipop and eat it. Dip the lollipop and eat it. That's how I would eat my lollipops. Like literally so good. Try it guys. <laughs> One that really came up a lot was Coke in bir biryani. And actually, it, and it turns out to be a very common thing. I asked my mum and she's not aware of it, but apparently they it's used to like tenderize the chicken but obviously i don't have biryani i'm not gonna make it that's a lot of effort if you guys want a part two then i'll be happy to try it in a part two video ketchup came up a lot like you are not obsessed with ketchup okay guys the last one's just making my ovaries shrivel up okay biscuit in water please explain okay guys if you haven't tried biscuits dunked in tea, please try that now. I don't know if it's a British thing, but or a Mauritian thing, but biscuits dipped in tea, especially digestives, custard biscuits, sim those simply tea ones, so yum. But in water, and then on top of that, some of you DM'd me and said cold water, so I'm gonna be trying cold water. Ew, 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 ew. Oh my god, that absorbed the water. No. 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 Oh my god. It's the texture for me. It's the texture without the tea taste. Okay. Oh. It's like bird food. You know that soggy bread that you chuck out in the pond for the birds to eat? That tastes like that. <sighs> oh my god, that one was bad. I mean, it's not... The two things are okay, but together, like the soggy biscuit. No, no. I'm used to the soggy biscuit with the tea taste, you know, and warmth. A, a, li a little bit of warmth, guys. I think definitely my favourite was the first one, the bread, the butter and the toast. Guys, someone said tuna with marshmallows and ketchup on top. Never in my life would I have put that in my mouth like, no, thank you, please. No, thank you. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do a part two or if you want me to film um, another type of video. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps your girl out. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.